The University of Utah provides numerous research opportunities for graduate students every year. One such researcher, Carolyn Swartka, has spent her graduate career building a model to understand carbon dioxide emissions in the Salt Lake Valley. Anybody who has lived in the Salt Lake Valley knows that we have some of the worst air pollution anywhere in the country. So when I moved here as a graduate student, I was motivated to understand the meteorology behind this air pollution so that I can help improve the air quality in the Salt Lake Valley. So what I did was um, Jim Allinger, who's a professor of biology here at the University of Utah, has a series of carbon dioxide measurement stations around the valley, and Britt Stevens has one at Snowbird. So my advisor and I used this model data, used this observational data to compare to a model that we created. So we created a model that imitates the movement of carbon dioxide as it travels around the Salt Lake Valley. This is the input file for the multiple box model that my advisor, Court Strong, and I developed. My model uses four inputs to run, and the first input is human-induced carbon dioxide from, say, cars or planes or buildings. So that's a, a source of carbon dioxide. The second input is biogenic, so that would be trees taking in carbon dioxide or also giving off carbon dioxide. The third input is winds that blow carbon dioxide around and out of the valley. The fourth input is mixing height, so that mixes the air from the surface higher into the atmosphere. And we then take those inputs and put them into an equation and run that equation in the model. I can use my model to understand the influence of city life on the atmosphere. Why this is important is, as I mentioned, um, Utah has very bad air quality, and in fact we are in non-attainment, which means we do not meet the regulations set by the National Ambient Air Quality Standards by the Environmental Protection Agency. And this means that Utah, as a state, has to develop something called a state implementation plan, which provides a solution to the bad air quality days. So essentially it improves the air quality here in Utah. Cities are unique environments because of the amount of localized emissions they have within them. This includes carbon dioxide emissions, which is what I study. So you can look around at cars, you can look at factories within your house, um, planes flying over. These, these are all sources of carbon dioxide through either combustion or uh, a coal burning plant. And this provides an issue in urban environments because there are localized centers for carbon dioxide that can then slowly make it into the global pattern of carbon dioxide, which is why our carbon dioxide emissions are slowly increasing. And I'm hoping that my model can be used in this state implementation plan to, um, to understand scenarios. So you can create scenarios and then model those scenarios, such as reducing car emissions or increasing um, biogenic activity, and then see how that affects the local carbon dioxide concentration here in the Salt Lake Valley. So I'm very excited about the model that we created, and in the future I hope to use this model but expand it to include gases such as carbon monoxide or particulate matter such as PM2.5 or PM10.